Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica. Today I'm gonna do a cook and clean with me. So if you want to see what I'm making for dinner and cleaning up the kitchen afterwards, then just keep on watching. When you came over, my heart was on its way. Okay guys, before I get started cleaning my kitchen, I'm gonna put a roast in the crock pot. So I'm gonna show you everything that I use. The first thing is gonna be this crock pot liner. I highly recommend these. Um, you can get them where you find like uh, sandwich baggies and things like that, but they just help with cleanup and they're totally safe to use. They don't add like a weird flavor to your food or anything like that. I 100% recommend them. And then I do a packet of brown gravy mix, a packet of this slow cooker savory pot roast. I do one of the onion soup mixes. You could just do an onion, but this is how I do it. I do a can of beef broth. Of course, my roast. I have a chuck roast here. Somebody asked me when I showed this on Instagram, it doesn't matter what kind. I don't really think it does. Sometimes I do a rump roast, but I'm doing a chuck roast today. And then my secret ingredient is some Pepsi or Coke. And then um, I'm going to add carrots. I usually add potatoes, but I'm making this for my cousin and she requested mashed potatoes. So I'm going to be making mashed potatoes with this. But the only thing I would do differently is I would just peel the potatoes, rinse them obviously, and then put them into but I'm not doing that this time. So I'm gonna just quickly throw everything in there. I'll show you how I do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started cleaning the kitchen. I was sober and I was thinking out loud. I spoke of your bravery, your wit and So I usually start my roast around 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then we usually eat dinner around 6 30. You could definitely eat before then. It's usually ready, but that's just about how long I leave it in there in case you were curious. And someone asked me on Instagram if the vegetables come out mushy, and they have never came out mushy at all. Even when I leave the potatoes in all day, they don't at all. They're perfect. So definitely if you try this recipe, I would love to hear in the comments if you loved it. Differently, differently You lay beside me You held my hand in the dark I started fighting Cause I was scared of it all So then I like to make these frozen rolls with our roast. So you just have to lay them out and let them thaw for several hours. So I usually just do them in the morning when I'm preparing the roast. So I always spray some cooking spray in my little muffin pan and then I cover them with saran wrap and then they rise throughout the day and then you bake them for like five minutes and they're so good. When you're so deep, you're about to drown. When you're in the lost and found. I want you guys to listen to this song because I know it's kind of corny, but I dedicate it to you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I just love this song. So definitely listen to the lyrics of this and it's for you today. So if you're struggling, whatever you might be going through, this song's for you and I hope that your day or your week gets better. Line. 
It's been true for the longest time Just know that somewhere there's a sign Either fate or the big sublime Cause rainstorms always move away Ooh. But you'll go till night turns into day Go out and lead the way Don't let them take your soul away Not a week, not a single day Hold you to what you wanna be Never let go and here's the key Be you, yeah, only you, only you Ooh. Be you, yeah, only you, only you bit of this bleach into my disposal while I fill up the sink with some pine saw and this I did not know but a subscriber told me this in one of my recent videos but the splashless bleach does not disinfect how crazy is that like I don't even know what bleach is without disinfecting obviously it makes things whiter but I'm so disappointed because I have like four bottles of this stuff and it doesn't even disinfect so I'm just trying to use it up but I thought I would let you guys know in case you didn't because I definitely didn't know that it's in the very fine print on the back of the bottle it does not disinfect crazy huh So now I'm going to clean out my microwave. You're about to see how disgusting it is. And this is how I do it. I put some water into a bowl. I add some essential oil. Sometimes it's definitely not necessary. This is all of the caked on gross stuff. And I don't like to use chemicals in there. So I don't like to spray a cleaner. I want it to be natural since I am cooking food in there. So what I'll do is I'll put that water in there and then I'll usually do about six minutes. You can do more and that gets it really nice and steamy in there. And then and when it's all done it just wipes clean and that's my favorite way to clean the microwave and the only way that I clean it putting a lemon plink in my garbage disposal and that just helps to freshen it up I love those I get them at Walmart and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all of my appliances with it's like a glass cleaner from method I don't love this cleaner I'm just trying to use it up but I like using it on the appliances just because it shines them and it doesn't leave like streaks or anything so I did wipe them down with the pine saw solution just to clean them and now I'm wiping them down with this just to get any smudges and things like that off of them Stone. 
Now I'm making my mopping solution and I'm using this cleaning vinegar. It says it's lavender scented. To me, it smells just like vinegar, but I'm just using some hot water in that to mop the kitchen floor with my O-Cedar mop. I get a lot of questions about this mop and if I love it, and I do. I absolutely love it. I 100% recommend it. It's amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I have not one single negative thing to say about it. So it is one of my go-tos when it comes to cleaning the floor. You can use all different kinds of cleaners with it, but today I am using just the vinegar and water. So I definitely recommend it. You can find it in my Amazon shop, but I think Walmart sells it, all sorts of places sell it. But if you wanted to just take a peek at it, maybe read the reviews, you can definitely check out the link in my description box and you can find it in my Amazon store. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up before you head out. And if you're new, I would love to have you click that red subscribe button and subscribe. That way you don't miss out when I upload. Also be sure to turn on the notifications. That way they will update you or they will update you. They will notify you when I upload new videos and that way you don't miss out because YouTube's been kind of crazy lately and not letting people know and definitely unsubscribing my subscribers so not cool but anyways thanks again and I will see you guys in my next video Ground.